Gentlemen, today we're going to slow it down a little bit. We're not talking about style. We're not talking about grooming. What we are talking about is Facebook and why it is important that you understand that it is lying to you. It's lying to me. It's lying to your cousin. It's lying to your great. It's lying to everybody. If you don't understand this social media reality, then you are setting yourself up for a lifetime of pain, suffering, and emotional distress. At this point, you may be thinking, that's it. Alpha's crazy. He has officially lost his marvel. But let me explain. For a while now, I don't even know really when it start. I realized something. Every time I would open up Facebook and I would start scrolling down my news feed, I would start to feel weird. So I dug a little deeper into my emotional state and started to really analyze what was going on. Why was I feeling this weird way? Well, ultimately what I realized is that as I saw all these amazing things that everybody else is doing and these amazing relationships and amazing everything, I started to feel like a loser. They're partying with friends, with beautiful people, doing amazing, exciting things. They look like they're having the best time. And I, I, I started to feel like I was missing something. Like what was wrong? What was deficient in my life? because my life doesn't look like that. Every time I was opening up, it was like people were jamming in my face how amazing they were and how amazingly incredible their lives are. And I realized that as I look and the more I look, the more depressed I would actually feel. Not like needing medication or clinically depressed, but I would definitely feel bummed out about myself. Sure, I've got friends. Yeah, I've got a beautiful wife who I enjoy doing things with and we have fun. But what ultimately struck me is that I don't post a lot of those things on Facebook because I feel like that's kind of my private time and, and it's not something that I care to share. That being said, when I look at everything else that everybody else is posting, I started to feel like I was deficient, like my life was deficient. And this is where the devastation is occurring. So I started to develop a theory that Facebook is actually causing people to feel bad about themselves and actually cause depression. So I actually called up my friend Mike, who is a college buddy who happens to be a licensed therapist, <laughs> which looking back on our college days is kind of um, a... <laughs> is interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, we had some crazy times. <laughs> but this was before we actually would post all craziness on social media. Right? So I asked him, I said, Mike, I got this theory, social media, is it really destructive to somebody's emotional state and happiness? And he said, absolutely. He's like, I'm starting to see more and more research that actually is indicating that people who are engaged in social media or spend a lot of time on Facebook have actually started feeling worse about themselves. And it has led to clinical depression, psychological issues. And so all of a sudden I'm like, my God, I'm vindicated. I need to get my ass off of Facebook or at least put it in perspective. Perspective. What does Facebook perspective mean? Does this mean that I'm going to totally give it up? No, but this does mean that I'm going to acknowledge the fact that what you see on Facebook, what people post is absolutely not. And when I say not, I mean super not reality. Social media, along with online dating, is something that is so... It's interesting because you can totally craft a persona. You can make people think that you have X or that you are Y and that you are the most amazingly amazing person ever to walk the face of social media. Here's the fact and here's the cold hard reality about life. Everybody, I don't care if they're smiling with their beautiful girlfriend and puppy. It doesn't matter who. It doesn't matter if they're on the beaches of Saint Tropez. It doesn't matter. Even them. They all have problems. They all have issues. We all have insecurities. But people have taken to social media, Facebook and Instagram specifically to post all these amazing things. And if you're an outsider looking in and you don't actually understand that this is just sort of a facade, then it can set yourself. You it you can set yourself up for not feeling fulfilled. Now, does this mean that these people don't do amazing things and have great relations? No, they can. But what I'm saying is that if you're only seeing it through a keyhole, which is a small little opening into their lives, then everything is going to look perfect for these people. And perfect, it's absolutely not the case. Everybody's got problems. Everybody has issues. Everybody has insecurities. And so, you need to make sure that if you are sort of spending too much time on these social media platforms and 
it's making you sort of feel bad about yourself or like you've got to compete or keep up or do crazy cool super awesome things in order to present that image of yourself i'm saying you don't have to understand that it's okay to live a life that is normal and that is amazing to you in today's world it's getting crazy ridiculous the amount that we're sharing the amount that we're seeing but the bottom line is that you need to live a life off of the computer all right i'm not saying not to watch amazing alpha m youtube videos this is not what i'm saying what i am saying though is realize that living is not done on or in front of a computer it's done out there so make sure to make your own amazing memories your own amazing life but the fact that you're not posting it doesn't mean that you're not and the fact that they are doesn't mean that they actually are does that make sense so i wanted to do this video just to sort of just Put it in perspective and let you know that it's not just you that's feeling that way. It's me. It's all of us. And I think it's sort of natural, but you need to put it in check because it's a dangerous, it's a dangerous road to think that that is normal because it's absolutely not. You're amazing. You're beautiful and you're perfect. All right. There's a time and a place for everything, but that place doesn't always have to be Facebook.